Oh. Oh, I forgot about the ice. Oh, dude, we might have messed up. Oh, the freezing. We got to get out of there. How's it going? Welcome back to some more Arc Valguero. Today we are heading up towards the snow area. We're going to be setting up a small vase and a trap at the Wyvern Trench. So that we can try to get an egg and then we still have to get some milk from a female Wyvern while we're hatching and raising the egg. So I got the Dodic in tow uh, so I can use him to gather stone and for the wood and stuff I got an awesome, I think it's like 430% chainsaw. And then some things I brought with me. I've got enough for uh, eight stacks in each turret. I got four heavy turrets that I made and a generator to power them. And that's gonna be part of our trap. So we're gonna make a small base uh, kind of inside a little tower and put the turrets on top. And then put a probably a pretty decent sized stone fence around so that when the wyvern drop, I can harvest the milk and stuff without having to worry about anything around. But the plan is to get it pretty close to the trench, and then that way, when I steal the egg or to um, to clear out the the sky, I can uh, I can tag one of the wyverns and then head over to the base and uh, let the turrets do the work. So that's the plan. We're gonna try to find a suitable area, somewhat flat, to make it a little bit easier and clear of. There's some redwood trees up there. And I don't want to build around those because I want to be able to cut everything down and have a nice, flat, open area for the turrets. So anyways, that's the plan for today. And we'll see you in a minute when we get up to the snow area. Alright, so we're right at the edge of the Wyvern Trench. Uh, up on my arrow, the blue arrow, that up, uh, over there, that dark area, that's the trench, which is just on the other side of this. So I was thinking, I mean, that's a pretty, pretty flat area here. And then that'll kind of give me cover. I can come over over the top there and swoop straight down in with the, the pterodon. And that'll be right towards the turrets. I want to be close as possible without being close as possible. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't uh I don't want to have Wyvern aggro 24-7 on this base. I, I will end up leaving the auto turrets on. Yeah, see, all down in there is the the um, the trench. So I'm kind of thinking either build it down on that little shelf there, or I don't know, build it right over here, because then I can swoop in. Hmm. If I build it right here, I can funnel them. You know, come out of the out of the area and come right through here, then they'll kind of have to come in between. I'll be somewhat shielded, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and set him down real quick. Yeah, I think that'll be a good spot. That kind of, it's a little trail leads right down into it. And if I build out here, and I get aggroed by a bunch of them, then um, there's kind of no cover. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I think this is too close right here. Let's take a look. Oh man, they're spawning in! Dude! Yep, we're not building right here. That's way too close to their spawn. The thing I got to think about for distance from it is because of the Pterodon's um, stamina. That's why I ended up hatching one. So I can get a little bit more stamina, or hopefully better stats. Health and um, stamina. Health to be able to survive a couple attacks, and because I don't have a really good saddle. And then the stamina to be able to run far enough. Because I don't think, I don't think you can outrun them. Oh man, there's a... Dude, I didn't know there were rock holes here too. Yep, we're gonna build down here on the shelf. It seems like a safe bet. Ooh, a red drop. Go ahead and take care of these guys real quick. I need the, uh, I need the fur anyways, because I'm gonna, gonna have to build some fur armor. 
It's alright, the Dodek has a really good saddle, so. At least I thought he did. Why he's not attacking? He's all curled up, man. Dude, you're sitting there all rolled up in a ball, man. Swing that tail around. What's wrong with you? Oh, oh man, look at his health. He went down from six thousand to two thousand. Holy crap! All right, so this is where it's gonna be. Set it up right here, and we'll be able to come from that direction with the with the wyverns. I'm going to start harvesting some some uh, resources. I need to go down and get some wood. And I brought him kind of somewhat full with some stone, so we should be all right on that. And I'm going to grab man, two red drops. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to start building this, and we'll come back whenever I uh, start working on it and show you where I'm at. See you in a bit. All right, so wyverns are an issue. Um, let's go ahead and throw that out there. It's a level 150 and a level 20. Or 25. Regardless, it's um I need to get that uh I need to get those turrets up. I need to kill one because they got that oh man I'm starting to break stuff. Alright, so one's down, the other one should get a little bit more damage now. Dude. Alright, he's almost dead. Jesus, man. Oh, and I got another rock comb, dude! Alright. This is gonna be a little bit more difficult than anticipated. Oh, we got some sulfur, though. So that rock golem has been following me ever since way over here. I hope my Dodic is alive. He was up top there, and that's right where the Wyverns came from. We'll look at that later. How's the health? He's bloody. Oh, man. Yeah, he got half, half his health gone. Alright, so I got my foundation kind of set how I want to do it. So the plan is to aggro the Wyverns, grab the egg, whichever I need to do. Swoop off of there with the Pterodon. I'm going to have some pillars set up in front here and just a big enough opening for the pterodon to go through. That way they'll get stuck and I'll have this door open and I can uh, come in with the pterodon, jump off of him, close the doors, and then the tower is going to go up probably just as, as uh, high as the door is and I'll have my ceiling set up with the turrets. Turret on each corner, I've got four turrets. I think I only got four, right? Yeah, I only made four. Man, things are expensive. That and the bullets aren't cheap either. But anyways, I've got this extra door just as a uh, a, uh, a plan B, if you will. <laughs> For uh, if, when, and it's going to happen, things go south. I can uh, I can always just jump in the bird and or whatever I have. I'm probably going to put the Thyla up here. Seems how he's kind of like an all-terrain vehicle. And then I can head off and just jump right off the edge over here. And that'll take me, um, take me out to where I can at least dodge some stuff out there. And there's usually, I think I kind of killed them, there's a spawn or two of, yeah, the woolies out there. So that it, it'll give something for them to aggro on instead of me. So it's starting to get nighttime. I'm going to try to finish getting uh, at least this set up. And then I'm going to put some, some uh, basic stuff in here like a, a little stone forge and campfire for cooking and probably... Just a couple little things. Maybe I'll just wall this in right here. Just so I'm somewhat got a little something to do while I'm here. Because I kind of want to use this area for, since we found the rock holes, I do want to tame one of those. Never done that in ARC. But uh, I've been looting quite a few rocket launchers and rocket ammo. So might as well, you know. And uh, it'll be a good extra little base. So I'm going to try to get this done. And we'll see you guys back when it's daytime. And hopefully this will be done. Well, we have it completed. Take a look and see what we got going on. So we got the double doorways like I talked about. We got my generator. We got my uh, my little forge and everything going. 
a little storage another extra storage uh, preserving bin like I said I want to kind of make this like a little outpost that I want to use so keep that for food I'm not gonna worry about a refrigerator and stuff like that I like to keep it simple up here I've got all windows so that I can help shoot out if I need to and then all four corners have the uh, heavy turrets on them like I said I've only got eight stacks of bullets I don't know how long that's gonna last um, I'm just gonna have to farm more to get some more I'd like to fill it up I didn't realize holy crap there's a lot of slots but I'd like to get more in here I have it uh range set on high wild creatures only um, thought about putting a railing up but I didn't want for some reason it to uh, block the bullets and stuff like that so I also thought about just making it one one weird little platform out here but it didn't reach far enough at least now you got uh, two turrets on all corners regardless and like I said, each one of them have an opening. And that's kind of it. I'm not sure what happened with the door or the windows. I think it's because I have them set out over the doorways. And there's my mortar and pestle from having to make some spark powder and stuff. So, not too bad. Good little, uh, good little setup. I still want to get some pillars. Get the pillars put out here. So at least it kind of blocks a little bit so that whenever I go in, the wyverns don't come in here. You know what I mean? That's kind of a uh, kind of a key thing there. But let's go ahead. How's my health? Is it? We're good. Let's go ahead and do a uh, let's do a test run and see how the. So I'm gonna leave that open. I want everything on passive. Oh man, I'm a little nervous. Those wyverns aren't no joke. I luckily I got my uh, got my feet repaired. I didn't get the rest of my armor. I'm still. Still smelting some armor, or some smelting some armor, smelting some metal down that I found. Um, it's gonna take a while. Good thing is there's oil. I can put an oil pump out here. But let's see. There's one there. What level is it? I don't want to get like a super high level and then get killed on the trial run. Uh, level 100 uh, is what it is. Let's see if we can't grab some aggro. I hate to go down in there and have a couple of them spawn. Oh! Oh, I forgot about the ice! Oh, dude, we might have messed up. Oh, the freezing! We gotta get out of there. Woo! Is he coming? Oh, there's two of them now. Dude, that might be a problem with the Pterodon. There's gotta be something to combat that. You would think? Hack them whenever you want to get aggro. You can't. What's up with that? Dude, I really need a higher, uh, a higher armor saddle for my Argent Davis. Kind of makes me wish I would have put more points into health as well instead of just all into weight. Let's see if we're going to use a long neck and... get one of them aggroed on us. Dude, there's like four of them now. I wish they would leave the, uh, leave the wildlife alone, man. Mm. I kill off the, uh, the mammoths. He'll quit aggro on them and he'll come for me. You just stay over there, buddy. I'm coming for you to tame later. Help kill off some of these uh, these spawns out here. Oh man! Oh! Oh, they're coming! They're not coming. <laughs> oh man! I'm so nervous. You know what I forgot to make? A bed. Yep, that would have been nice. Alright, man, y'all gonna come for me or what? Oh, yep, 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 they're coming. Oh! Come on, Argent Davis.
Ooh, them turrets got him, boy. Thank you for the meat. So that's quite the uh, quite the range those things got, man. I was thinking they were gonna come all the way up to the place. Let's try to get this other one over here. And then we'll call that a wrap if it kills him too pretty Oh the golems are the rock golems. Alright. Is he gonna follow us? Or is he gonna play with the Gone, rock home. Nobody wants to play with you, man. Alright, alright. Bail out! Oh, man. Oh, mistakes have been made. Oh, go, go any slower. It's alright, we got five seconds. I hope it doesn't reset. Oh, it does. Oh, man. That's gonna be horrible news for the Pterodon. I just need to get to the base. Get within turret range. I might have to use the Argentavis for this because it tanks more. Yep, there we go. Turret's hitting him. Oh, nice. Alright, cool. So it's just down here is the range. I think it's going to work, man. I think it's going to be fine. I don't think I need to put up uh, the pillars. I think that's going to work out just fine. Well, all we got left now to do is run down in and grab an egg. But we're going to call that on this episode. We got it all built. Good to go. Got to get us a wyvern next. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.